that uh, I'm not responsible for how much fun you're going to have today. It's fully based on yourself. What are you putting me on? I'm going to put you on the Road Glide Special for the 114 Milwaukee. Well, that's the newest engine you guys have? Newest engine, yeah. yeah. Sure. Last week I had the opportunity to ride a 2020 Indian Challenger and I found it pretty darn nice. I got a lot of comments on the last video wanting me to compare the Indian Challenger to the Harley Road Glide. So here we go. The first thing I noticed was the smooth level torque curve this bike had. It just pulled. It didn't jerk your arms out of their sockets, but it just had a, just like a freight train. It just pulled. And it will cruise at 80, 90 miles per hour, and it may or may not have hit those numbers and have plenty of power to spare. Roll on power in six gear is there. It is nice and you know what? You put a smile on my face. I set the cruise control and uh, I kind of took my hands off the bars and smacked the left bar, smacked the right bar, trying to get this thing out of shape, and it wouldn't. It wouldn't come out of shape. They have done their homework, and this bike cruises right down the highway, and it cruises well. I was very happy with it. I was surprised. I'm gonna be honest, I was surprised. I was not expecting this bike to be that good. I really wasn't. I was pleasantly surprised. fairing on this bike works. Harley have done their homework and even with that short windshield, which you know what? It would be cool to have a power adjustable windshield. I got to give that one to Indian. But it works. This fairing works. I was in a nice bubble and I didn't get any buffeting above my helmet. And as you can see, I'm wearing an adventure style helmet. So if there was a terrible bubble, it would be grabbing that that visor and trying to rip my head off and it was just pleasant it was pleasant i wanted to make a deal on this bike i'm not gonna lie i was surprised Cruising down the road at 75, 80 miles an hour, just, I wanted to keep going. I wanted to ride a long trip. I wanted to just go. And it had three quarters of a tank of gas, and they didn't exactly tell me how far I could and couldn't go. But uh, I didn't want to take advantage of it. But I'll tell you what, 
it was real tempting to uh, just keep cruising. It was definitely a pleasure to ride. And let's face it, this thing just sounds good, even stock. I got to ride this so far about 10 miles. I like it. This bike doesn't pull out of the hole like the uh, Challenger did, but it has plenty of power. And in top gear, it wants to run 80, 90 miles an hour. So uh, comfort wise, I feel like the rear shocks are a little stiff, but who knows where they're set? So that's, we're not gonna beat them up on that. Now what I have noticed, and I've always noticed them about these big Harley baggers is the low speed handling is phenomenal. I mean, you can turn these things on a dime. And this new one is no different. The Milwaukee 8, let's talk about that. Definitely, has the power, has the torque. The transmission is very smooth. The clutch action is is spot on. The clutch is spot this on. Is my first bike with the Milwaukee 8 that I've ridden and clutch felt great. Clutch felt great on the Indian too. Transmission felt wonderful on the Indian. I do like heel shifters on a big bagger. Uh, that's one thing the Indian did lack. A lot of people don't use them. I personally like them. Switch gears laid out nicely. I tell you what, I'm impressed. And I was told if I was to ever ride one of these road glides, the uh, Milwaukee 8 in it, that I'd buy one. And uh, I'll tell you what, this is a contender for my next bike. So I'm seriously looking for a big cross country touring bike. And this is definitely in the running. Which one's the winner? I don't know. I really can't tell you. They both have fantastic engines. Both of the transmissions shift amazingly. They both handle very well. The Harley to me handled a little better at low speeds and it didn't feel quite as top heavy. Both of them had awesome brakes. Um, the Indian pole is kind of a little bit higher RPM. It felt a little more metric. The Harley just got a smooth, level torque curve. It just pulls from the bottom all the way to the top. It's just nice. Even in sixth gear, you had roll on power. For me, I think if I was going to buy one today, I would have the road glide. I would have the 2020 road glide. I was impressed. I, I was surprised. I did not expect to like this bike that much because being a past Harley owner and having had quite a few baggers, I've become kind of soured on Harley for a while. And I think they won me back. I really like this bike and it was hard to bring it back here. I didn't want to stop riding it. <laughs>